okay so now in this video we will start adding the parkour so we will be starting from a really basic move okay we will make the player to step upon these boxes okay for example this box and as you can see this box already have the obstacle layer and the box collider added okay so if you are using this environment then you can make the player step up on this box as well or you can create a 3d cube like this and then on this cube you can make the player perform parkour okay but as you know that we have a box right here in the environment so on this box we will perform parkour for that first of all we need an animation so make sure that you have uploaded your character to Maximo okay and then click on animations and right here let search for step up animation so as you can see there are many animations right in here let me search for step okay we can't find that in this step let's search for jumping and right here if we scroll down this is the animation which is by the name of jumping as you can see and there are many other animations so what we will do we will just simply click on this one and as you can see here it is okay let's make the step height of this as for example 40 oh, let's just make it 30 I think 20 will be a good value for this animation okay so make sure that the step height of this animation is 20 and everything else will be the same so we can now just simply click on download without skin and the format will be FPX for unity then click on download and it has been downloaded if you see it right here let me actually rename this to jump up then in the unity click on player model animation and in here click on show in explorer okay here it is let's just simply cut it from here and paste it in this animations folder that is it now if we get back right here this is the animation jump up let's click on its rig make sure that it is a humanoid then copy from other avatar and right here select Erica Archer click apply that is it now if we drag and drop the player as you can see the player is performing the animation and guys make sure that you click on the stick apply root motion okay mine one was default but if your apply root motion is not by default make sure that you do that and then you will be able to see this animation like this okay as you can see they create this grid right here so that it shows that the player is stepping on something as you can see okay so we have the animation if you click on animator of the player or oh, you can double click on that as well right here let's drag and drop this animation let's name this as jump up and if we double click on it now or you can click on that as well right here make sure that you change this uh, root transform rotation to original click apply and also this root transform position XZ should be set to original okay now if you play it as you can see and then this root transform position Y should be set to feet 
okay so now as you can see it looks good now from this jump up let's make a transition to basic locomotions and just leave that as it is then after this let's click on scripts parkour folder in here open up this parkour controller script and right here what we will do we will cut that then type if input dot get button and that button is the jump button then what we're gonna do we will perform some parkour then okay so just paste that in there and right here at the top create a bool by the name of player in action and right here when the jump button is pressed and we will say and the player is not in action okay it means that if the player is not performing some other parkour okay it means that if the player is free so then we will be able to perform parkour okay if the jump button is pressed and the player is not in any kind of action okay so now after this update function we will create a enumerator by the name of perform parkour action and in here first of all what we will do we will set the player in action to true because right here we will be now performing parkour action okay so we will set this player in action to true then we want to play the step up animation okay so we will say animator but first of all let's create a reference to the animator so we will say public animator and let's name this as animator as well okay so we will say animator dot cross fade right here we will type the animation name so as you know right here the animation name is jump up make sure that you type your own animation name okay mine one is jump up so right here I will type jump up exactly the same so what I will do I will play this so this jump up will simply play it and after the name we need to type the transition duration so that will be let's just say 0. 2f then after this we will say yield return null because we don't want to re return anything then after this we will say we will actually create a variable by the name of animation state and this will be equals to animator dot get next animator state info and in here now when we play this animation we want to get back to this basic locomotion so as you know that this jump up and this basic locomotion is right here on the base layer okay there are no other layer for now so in this get next animator state info we will simply type 0 that is it then we want to wait for the animation to finish so for that we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we want to wait for the animation state dot length Okay, so when the length of the animation is finished then the player in action will be equals to false then right here instead of this debug dot log we will say start 
routine and in here we will pass this perform parkour action okay and whenever you call a enumerator type function or method you will have to use this start quarantine and then inside that brackets you will have to type the method or function name like this so now what this will do that whenever the raycast hit something it will just simply call this function okay or you can say whenever we press the jump button and the player is not in action okay then it will check if there is something or some obstacle in front of the player and if there is some obstacle we will perform this parkour action so just simply save your script get back to unity click on player and make sure that you attach the animator right there on the parkour controller script and also make this step of set of the player character controller to 0 0.1 okay and the animation is set up already now if we just simply play the game let's turn on the gizmos okay there it is now as you can see you will not be able to see the ray but if you press the jump button okay as you can see then only the ray appears okay so now for example if we get closer to this box okay and try to press the jump button and as you can see it is playing the jump animation okay closer to this box let's check it again as you can see it is playing the animation let me turn off the gizmos so that you see it okay this is the box if we press the jump key as you can see it is playing the animation but now if we try to play this animation right here as you can see our player can't perform it right here and also for example if we increase the height of any of this box for example let's take this one okay let's increase the height of it okay let's play it again you will notice that when we come closer to this box okay and try to perform it as you can see the player doesn't jump on this on top of this box and the reason behind this is the player character controller if we click on this player as you can see when we deactivate the player character controller right here our player okay can't move let me activate it and get closer to this box and right here let's deactivate it if we try to jump now as you can see our player is able to jump on it but the player feet are not on the box and also when the character controller is activated our player can't jump okay and don't worry we will be fixing this problem in the future videos when we will be adding the target matching okay so when we add the target matching then the player feet will be perfectly on the box and also the player will perform this step up action to the object height okay so as you can see right here it performed the step up action correctly okay but if we perform the same action on this box as you can see it doesn't perform it correctly okay so we will be fixing that in the next video